Hey guys, me and Monsox back with another video and today we're making a video that I didn't need the world needed but well here we are. So I've had quite a few questions on how to take off in a hydroplane from the water. So we're gonna jump in and we're gonna get it all cleared up. By the way, I wonder what happens if you spawn a hydroplane in a practice. Is there like a place with water here somewhere? Oh no, we're spawned flying already. Right, we're gonna have to get into a real game then. Here we go, we are in a match, so if you wanna do a free look on a PC, it's holding C, uh, letter C, and then you can just literally look around. So we're gonna look back towards our tail, and if you use your W and S key, you can see the tail is moving up and down, so this would be to pull up, uh, letter S, and W would be to go down, which no one really uses negative, um, yeah, negative G's. So, um, on a PC, for me, for myself, at least, uh, the scroll wheel, scroll up and scroll down, uh, is to accelerate or or come off the throttle. So, for your um, console controls, I really don't know. Whenever you're flying, you should probably know what controls you're using to increase the, the throttle percentage and then decrease it. So, basically, that's what you want to do. We're going to scroll up all the way to about uh, 110. Try and hold the mouse pretty much in a straight line. Even if you don't know, even if you don't use your W and S key, you can always pull up just by looking up in the sky uh, because that does the, the tail control as well. But we're going to do the fancy way. We got good enough speed, take off flaps, and we're going to pull up with letter S. You see, we got the take off flaps. Now we're going to switch back to the normal flaps these things go back in and away we go so yeah if you are on a console and you have no idea about your controls if you can just find the control that increases throttle just make sure you floor it all the way full throttle and eventually you're gonna reach 120 130 and just try and pull up and and the plane is just gonna go you don't need to know all the fancy um, flap controls so now we're gonna turn around and see how we land this thing I'm gonna come off the throttle nice and early not using any flaps so you wanna get your altitude which you can see in the, in the top left I'd say ideally in between oh my god we've almost landed already uh, between 20 and 30 you can see we, we're doing about 200 speed which is way too quick uh, we're gonna use the flaps here we're gonna go landing flaps this should slow us considerably down give us a bit more lift we're gonna go down a little bit more you can do this even without using landing flaps so we are just around touching 120 we can start going down and we are on the water bring in the flaps make sure the engines cut you see the flaps are coming back up if you go to the landings they'll be way down yeah and we'll just bring them back up and that is basically just how you land. Uh, if you don't know if your flap controls, again, you can just uh, cut the throttle. Um, go as low as you can. Make sure you cut the throttle nice and early because these things like to float in the air. And make sure you just touch the water going. I would probably suggest to go under 150 speed. Uh, yeah, and then you should be fine. And you can even taxi around the water if you really want to. Let's say we're going to switch on the uh, engine right now. Again, with the scroll wheel on the PC. And we're just going to give it some beans. Let's wait for it to start moving. And then we just cut it. And you can literally just taxi around if you want to. Use the rudder controls. Possibly with your mouse. Yeah, you can do it with your mouse as well. And you can literally just drive around the water. Like, I did this in one stream where uh, I actually drive, drove up to a friendly tank that was chilling in the... On the beach in the water which was pretty cool yeah you can just drive around like that on pc your rudder controls you can see the vertical bit of the plane left and right left and right is your q and e keys so yeah that's basically to steer around here and that's about it uh that's basically all the controls i can give you for the hydroplane to take off and land i hope this was useful if it was make sure you subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos or streams since I'm streaming now as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.